Welcome to sermons from St. Paul's Lutheran Church of Minot, North Dakota. St. Paul's is anchored in the message of Christ crucified for the forgiveness of sins, for the church and for the world. The following sermon is from Rev. Dr. Matthew Richard. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 14th chapter. Jesus answered him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. These things I have spoken to you while I am still with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I will come to you. If you loved me, you would have rejoiced, because I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it takes place, so that when it does take place, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming. He has no claim on me, but I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know that I love the Father. Rise, let us go from here. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Well, my friends, today is Pentecost Sunday. You can tell because of all the red at the front of the church. It's one of those few days in the church that we get to see red on the altar and the pulpit, the lectern, and even on the pastor himself. Now, Pentecost is celebrated 50 days after Easter, which is where the Penta of Pentecost comes from. Penta means 50. And 50 days after Easter is the day that the crucified and risen Lord Jesus Christ and ascended Lord, Lord Jesus Christ pours out his promised Holy Spirit on the church. You heard about this pouring out of the Holy Spirit in today's reading from the book of Acts. Indeed, in the book of Acts, we heard about a mighty rushing wind that must have sounded like a tornado. We heard about tongues of fire resting on each one of the apostles. And so, that is where the red of Penta comes from. The color of fire and fervor. We use the color of red 50 days from Easter to show how the Holy Spirit was poured out on the church. Now keep in mind that when the Holy Spirit was poured out on the apostles, everything changed Yes, everything changed because before that Pentecost day, these same men, they were trembling in their boots, trembling in fear. They were silent. They were afraid, often hiding in upper rooms with locked doors. But my friends, everything changed, and they were no longer able to keep silent since the Holy Spirit led them to do what they were fearing to do. That is to say, after the Holy Spirit was poured out upon them, they stood up among the crowd in the temple and began to preach in languages, get this, in languages that they had never heard or learned with confidence and boldness. Now, they were not just babbling nonsense, but they preached in languages of people who had come to Jerusalem. People from all over the world were there, and these people heard the apostles speak of the mighty acts of God. These formerly fearful apostles now spoke boldly about Christ, who is the Son of God, who was crucified for the sins of the whole world, and who rose again from the dead. 
And they spoke of this forgiveness and eternal life in Jesus' name in languages that they did not know, but they did for the sake of proclamation. The proclamation of Jesus, to proclaim it without fear, the message of the gospel. Now, none of this would have ever happened if it were not for the wind and the fire of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. And so today, we have read as a reminder to us of how the Holy Spirit came down upon Christ's church. We have read that reminds us of the fearful apostles being turned to boldness to preach Christ, this holy word of forgiveness, to a world bound in chaotic sin. You see, the Lord has this pattern Indeed, throughout all of scriptures, this pattern of using weak and fearful and unqualified people to proclaim his word. The Lord uses, has used fearful and weak disciples to speak his word. And through that word, Jesus was delivered to sinners that they might be saved. And Here's the catch. The Lord still uses fearful and weak disciples. Disciples like me and like you too. Today, dear friends, you are reminded by way of God's blessing through his promised word that you have received the Holy Spirit. And as the baptized, yes, as the precious baptized, you will be used to give a witness to your faith in Jesus Christ, to speak of the mighty acts of God that he has done by giving his son to die for you and for the entire world. But it won't be easy. You see, people do not like to hear about their sin. People do not like to hear about their need for a Savior. They're much more content with perhaps empty religious cliches found on the side of coffee cups or babbling preachers on nightly television shows. This brings us to the other reason we have red today. Red is the color of blood. It is the color of suffering and affliction. You see, before that Pentecost day, the disciples, they were paralyzed with fear. Their mouths were stitched shut with trembling fear because they knew that if they spoke about Jesus, that they would be killed as he was. They knew that giving a witness to Christ would not lead to a party and a dance in the streets of Jerusalem, but would lead to suffering and spilled blood. And so we have read. Yes, we have read. In fact, the word witness in the original language is actually the word martyr. A martyr, get this, is someone who suffers and dies because they cannot, they cannot be silent. They cannot be silent about the joy and eternal life that they have by faith in Jesus' death and resurrection for them and for their neighbor. And as it was on the first Pentecost day, when the Holy Spirit led the apostles to speak of the mighty acts of God to the people, so it is today for you as well. The Holy Spirit will lead you to do what you alone are fearful to do, to give a bold witness, to confess, to confess Christ in what you think and say and do. And the way things are going for the church in the world today, perhaps you may well find of what it is like to be a martyr as well, just like the apostles. You see, right after Jesus promised to send his Holy Spirit to his church, the bride, his church, he also said these words, the time is coming that whoever kills you will think that, the, that he is offering a service to God. And my friends, that time did come. It did come for those apostles. Bartholomew well, he was skinned alive and beheaded. Thomas was burned alive. Matthew was nailed to the ground and beheaded. Peter, he was actually crucified upside down, not considering it worthy to be crucified the same way Christ was. And Paul, he was beheaded by the emperor of Rome. Others were stoned or killed in terrible ways, too graphic to mention from this pulpit. And so we have read... The color of the martyrs on Pentecost, the color of blood. 
As we hear this today, we may think, we may think that it would be wise to be silent about Christ, to not rock the boat, if you will. But the Holy Spirit will not let your fear keep you silent. He will use you in life and perhaps even in death to be a witness to the joy, the joy you have in Christ who redeemed you, not with gold or silver, but with his precious blood, snatching you out of the kingdom of darkness and putting you in the kingdom of light, the joy of that gospel. Frankly stated, it is difficult to give witness to a world that hates to hear of sin and forgiveness. It is difficult to give a witness in your own house, in your own home, to your own family, to your own friends and neighbors around you. And you, you, my friends, you and I, we will all fail at times. In fear, we will be silent, though the Spirit would urge otherwise. In trembling, you perhaps may deny your Lord Jesus when you ought to speak and give a clear witness to him and his word of truth. Yes, the world. The world will accuse you and at times want to kill you. The devil will accuse you as well and show you how awful your sins are to try and lead you to despair and condemnation so that you might keep your mouth silent. Even your own conscience itself will accuse you, telling you that you aren't worthy to witness to Christ. But My friends, always remember, yes, remember baptized saints, that the Holy Spirit is with you. You are the baptized. You are blood-bought saints in Christ. The Holy Spirit will continually bring you to Jesus and Jesus to you, and he will bring you to this altar constantly to receive Christ and his gifts, life and salvation. Yes, when you sin, when you fail, when you deny your Lord in fear, instead of confessing him and giving a witness to him in what you think and say and do, listen to the Holy Spirit as he calls you to repentance And brings you back to Jesus. Cling to the promise of Christ. Dear friends, listen to his promise yet again. Listen to the words of Christ this morning. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let your hearts not be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. Baptized saints, know that the promise of peace from your Lord is yours even to the end of time through the power of his Holy Spirit who brings you to Jesus and fills you with Jesus and all of his gifts. And that peace, it's not some ethereal, pretend, floaty peace or some sentiment. It is actually real peace. Peace with God. Peace in turmoil and persecution. Peace from all of your fears. Peace that passes all understanding. A peace that will strengthen and preserve you steadfast in the true faith and everlasting life. So even though you have every reason to fear and to tremble, and I might add, There are a lot of reasons to fear this day, these days. There need not be fear any longer in Christ. You can take heart, you can take courage, and remain steadfast in this confession of faith even unto death. Not because of what you have done or well do, but because of the Holy Spirit who is given to you through the precious gospel to grant you faith and comfort Peace be with you, baptized saints. Indeed, peace be with you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thy strong word bespeaks us righteous, bright with thine own holiness. Thank you for listening to today's podcast sermon. You can access a full manuscript of today's sermon from Pastor Matthew Richard's blog at www.pastormatrichard.org or visit St. Paul's website at www.stpaulsminot.org The The Lord Lord bless bless and keep you. you.